Have you heard the story about Incy Wincy Spider? Maybe you've heard the song before. It goes like this. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Maybe you can have a go of singing along to this song. Let's have a look at it. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider round. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Now Incy Wincy Spider went up the spout again. Incy Wincy Spider crawled up the water spout. Today, you're going to create your own water spout. You might do this by drawing on a big piece of paper, or you might draw on the cement with chalk. It needs to look something like this. Here's a water spout. In the middle of this water spout, I have the word start, because that's going to be the starting place for your spider today. Then I have some spaces above the word start and some spaces below the word start. However many spaces you want, it's up to you today. Today, we're going to pretend going up the spout is incy wincy climbing up the water spout. Coming down the spout is if he gets flushed out by the rain. You might need two different coloured dice for this activity. One die will be the one that you roll to say he's going up the water spout. But then you'll roll a different coloured die to say that then he needs to move back down the water spout. Have a go of playing incy wincy spider today by rolling dice, counting the amount and moving your spider. Will he go up the water spout or will he be flushed out by rain? We've been looking at numbers that increase and decrease, one less and one more. And just like numbers can go up and down, today for our number warm up, we're going to use a water spout that goes up and down. And we're going to use a toy spider that looks like this. And I have a die with numbers from one to six. And I have this activity here. This is my water spout. If you don't have this activity with you, you can recreate it by drawing. You can get a strip of paper and make some spots on it. This is an easy one for you to draw or have an adult help you make it. I have start in the middle. So this is where my little spider toy is going to begin, right in the middle here on the start space. Now today, what I'm going to do is my first roll will be to move up the water spout. My second roll will be to move down the water spout. If that gets confusing, you might like to use two different coloured dice today, one for up the spout, one for down the spout. So just remember where you're up to so that you don't go up two times in a row. You need to go up the spout and down the spout. Have a look what I mean. I'm going to roll the die. I've rolled the number three. So my little spider is going to move up the water spout three times. One, two, three. Now my next roll is to go down the water spout. Let's take a look. One. So I'm just going to move down the water spout once. My next roll is to go back up the water spout. One, two, three, four. That means my next roll is to go down the water spout. One. Oh, you might be able to get out the top of the water spout. My next roll is to go up the water spout. Four, one, two, three, four. He's very close to getting up the top of the water spout. This one's to go down the water spout. Four, oh, one, two, three, four. This one's to go up. Six, one, two, three, four. Five, six, he's out the top of the water spout, little mathematicians. So today the idea is to get him either up the water spout or down the water spout. You might even keep track of how many rolls it takes. How many times did you have to roll the die to get him out the top of the water spout? 
How many times did it take to get him down the bottom of the water spout? You could even collect how many points along the way using the dots on your die. Today, the idea is to start in the middle of your water spout and see whether Incy Wincy goes out the top of the water spout or down the bottom of the water spout. Maybe he goes up the water spout like he does in the story, or maybe the rain flushes him down the bottom of the water spout. You need these things to play, and remember if you don't have this, you can recreate it easily. If you don't have a toy spider, you can use something to replicate a toy spider, like a black Lego block. You might even draw one and cut it out, and you just need a die. Have fun playing this incy-wincy spider.